Hey, sneaking us back again today. Quite a bit straight away. Puppy base. This is called Pulp. Yeah, Pulp. P U L P. Pulp. Uh, pulp. 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 It's for really, really old machines. It's based on the old Puppy 4 series, okay? It's only a remake remaster. It's been going a little while. I'd, I'd look at it, oh, I'd look at it how long ago? Ooh, a good few months ago, and it just wasn't playing ball for me. But some things got right. There's still things that need to be worked out, but I'll go through some of it with you. But as you can see, it's very, very bleak. Blick, 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 blick. So I'll go through some things with you. So down here, we've got some icons. Very tiny. Show desktop. Also, we've got terminal. So we'll open the terminal. We'll go along. We've got a web browser, which is here. Oh, Boneco, yeah. Doesn't always work correctly, but hey, ho, so you can and all that. Uh, the main thing I've having problems with is the mouse, okay? The mouse, you don't want to play ball. I can get it, if I keep wiggling it, it will do something about it. But apart from that, it don't want to play ball. Okay, sorry about that, I just got carried away. But file manager here, which here is E M E L F M, file manager. Old fashioned, old school. Could have kept to rocks, but hey, you put this one in. Fair enough, okay? Also, we've got a mount tool for many USB drives. And right on the end here is a text editor, which is GTK Edit. And there we go, my mouse has gone and don't want to play ball again unless I go like that. Okay, so it's done that. So I'll move down here. That's one of the big things. So it is a work in progress. There will not be uh, a percentage or a how many out of 100 for this one today, okay? We still need some work being done to it. But I just thought I'd give you a quick of a show. So I'm going to see the menu here. So you've got the GTK theme tuesday, yeah, that works. Set time and date, the usual sort of stuff from Old Style Puppy. Cups Manager for your printing, hardware info. HTOP, I'll open up for you. There's HTOP. Now, as you can see, with them two apps open, I'm still only using 22 megabytes of RAM. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, I've installed it, I forgot to tell you that. Well, I haven't installed it. I'm using a pup save file for this one, just for showing you sake, okay? But see, it's not using any CPU or anything like that at all, which I thought was rather good. So anyway, yeah, that's enough of that. The usual pup setup stuff and pup wizard, yeah, it's all there, all works. The puppy universal package manager and universal installers here. I'll open up the package manager for you. Now, I will say again, as you can see, the CPU just will show the top. Oh, it normally takes longer to come up. A lot of the stuff in here you won't be able to use, okay? A lot of it you can use and some of it you can't. For instance, if I go down to internet, right, the Bonaco that comes with it, doesn't actually work on YouTube, so you wouldn't be able to watch any uh, videos in 240 anyway, even if you wanted to. So I downloaded the Puppy 2 series, right? I got it to work, whether it's you know basically okay to use, I don't really know. In theory, I would say no to that one, so anyway, yeah, that's enough of me rambling. X archiver is here, all the usual pup stuff, file system, I've already been there. Under graphics, you get MT Paint, MT Paint snapshot screen capture is here. It's an image viewer, so if you have got photos, you can use them. Open up the image viewer, there we go, look, MT Paint and the image viewer and all that stuff. Yeah. Under documents, you do not get Abby Word, you get Pathetic Writer, which I think is an offshoot of Ted. That's in Mouse has got to get that up there. Massive, massive, stop mugging about that. Mugging me about. There's an offshoot of Ted. Do you remember Ted? It's really old school. It's still in DSL, because you can now download DSL. Okay. Okay. That's enough of that one. Under calculate, you get SIAG office spreadsheets into the genumeric. Okay. That's that one there. So you've got everything here. He's put basically for really, really old hardware, but whether a lot of that stuff will actually run on the net properly now, I don't know. Under personal, personal, should I say, you've got Figaro password manager. And the Clavero Touch Typing Tutor, okay? Under Networks, the usual stuff for connecting to the net. There's a Linux firewall, firewall thing. I actually haven't done that. I must do that while we're here. You just use Automatic. So I'll click on me do for there. Yeah, it's doing stuff. And it's done. So me firewall is now done. And I'll quit again. And we're done. Okay. Put that out of the way. Under Internet, right. As you can see, I downloaded Pup, sorry, Firefox web browser. Firepup comes with standard, so does eLinks and Dialo, but they're all text-based, really. You can use them for certain stuff, but for, if you're quite young, you'll go, what the hell is this? But if you're old like me, you'll know what it's all about. So what I'll do, I'll open up the Fox web browser, so you can see. There we go. Look. Nice. So it comes up all right. I'll go to the tube and you'll see what I mean, okay? So I've opened YouTube up. When it comes up, we'll put me in. Okay. Let me see what happens. It's a bit slow. And the pages come up like this as well. And when I click on my other videos, now you'll see what I mean. I've installed Flash. I have, yeah. But look what happens. Look, it's up there. Bump. 
it crashes. Yeah, it just goes bang. So you can't actually play YouTube videos at the moment. I'm not going to play for it too long because he's working on it. I do know that. So yeah, anyway, that's enough of that. Under multimedia, you do get your Elsa mixer for your audio. Open that. There it is. Elsa's up there. And also we get M player for playing video. And your audio player is XWMS audio player. Which is here. Yeah, yeah. Let me mouse them. But I'm moving down there. So I've got all these applications open. So you know, it works all right on old machines just to get them using it. Even if you just use it for audio or something and just maybe a bit of uh, text editing and stuff like that. Because you can export all these sort of stuff and put it on a key and go to another machine at a later date. Under fun, we get quite a few games here. I shall open one up. Yeah, we'll open gem game up. It's the gem game, look. Like that. I missed this one, do you miss it one? A bit of gems, yeah, look, it's all working. Yeah, I'll do that one up there, look. Lovely, it's working. That's what it says on the tin. Thank you very much. Do it one more time. There you go. It works, and then the mouse is gone again. If I wiggle it around enough, it might actually work. If it, what's that play ball? There we go. It's gone now. So yeah, and that's that one out of the way, and we'll finish that one as well. So yeah, pulp. It's a good project to work on. Right? Whether there's, there's probably enough machines to put it on, but whether you want to use these old style apps is another thing. But don't knock him for doing it. No, don't knock him because there may be people that actually need these sort of applications because their machine is too old. Or if you're only going to do basically editing and tech stuff. You can always export it, as I said before. Oh no, it's all right. I'll open HTOP up again for you, so you can see. But it's still only using 40 mega RAM when the map's open. Now I suppose if you started running some audio, it'll go up a, a tiny bit, and the CPU will start doing some work. But if you've got these really old machines, we're going back to Pentium 1s, Pentium 2s even. I bet you could get this one on a Pentium 1, a 60 or 75. I bet you really could. Just to get it working as an audio player, some basic, basic web browsing, and just some like uh, text editing. And some word processing and stuff like that, it'd be ideal. But hey, I just thought I'd show you. No score today on this one. Sneaky. And then, let's go now. See you later. Bye -bye.